We are activating your unique self-discovery one show at a time. The Orchard of Wisdom Self-Discovery Podcast are at your fingertips, just waiting to inspire and invite you in discovering just how awesome you really are and how to navigate through life in joy, enrichment, personal abundance, in mind, body, spirit, heart and soul. All the people we bring you are here to serve you on your journey of life. Do enjoy our next show. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, wherever you are. Welcome back to For the Love of Music, right here on selfdiscoverymedia.com. I'm your host, Sarah Troy, and my wonderful repeat guest is Robert Alexander. We're going to be talking about music today, why it's so important, an everyday place for music and creativity, both in personal and professional spaces. He said many people underestimate the power of music, music at home and the workplace. Many are experiencing a variety variety of feelings, emotions, and other experiences that may distract them fully from living in their own true pace and from the heart. This also takes place in uh, the workplace as well. Allowing exclusive and personalized music for the workplace can make a world of difference for projects, ambient music, and so much more. Music and creativity has a space in one's personal and professional spaces. The impact is long lasting. Robert Alexander has two businesses that help others in both spaces so it can help businesses and individuals create solutions that will be long lasting forever. He is an audio alchemist located in Southern California with his Life Rhythms business. He offers healing work via private lessons and designs unique personal pieces of music to help clients find the healing way from the work and alongside his Life Rhythms business. We've talked a great deal in the past of why music is so utterly important in our lives. And he's demonstrated that where um, last week he did a wonderful program with me where he took me through all the things that were kind of causing me anxiety. I call it like a almost a crash or of everything crashing in together where um, I couldn't see what needed to be done next or was feeling overwhelmed by everything that was on my plate instead of just taking a breath, being present, and then being able to stretch it out and say, why am I worrying about something I don't need to worry about yet? So, or even worry about at all. Everything will just come into flow. And sometimes we need that. And then you put it, what I said, to music, and it's that little daily motivator to kind of like, you know why you're doing it. You know what the focus is. This is just that boost, that encouragement that to empower you to stay on track. And this is one of the gifts that he does um, and in his business, but which we're going to do a business show on to show you all his services. But now it is about the power of music and music most certainly has an enormous amount of power and it doesn't matter what language it's in it's it's a universal language isn't it robert absolutely good to have you back here again um music as you know is very important to me you know being a person that suffers from depression it's uh, it's something that realigns me it soothes me it like it wraps its arms around me or it can illuminate me or lift me out of something you do that ambient music, which is setting the stage, uh, you know, for, for people to work in or just to live in. And you create signature music for people to do that. But what does music mean to you? Ooh, that's a really good question. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about what you were talking about, too. And a lot of people, they're in this space of... And my biggest intention is for a lot of people to go from... to you know <laughs> two very different places yeah. so mu music is the essence of my soul that mm -hmm. that's one way where i ultimately like you yeah. delete it people are like well what is what are you here to do in life i'm like you know two things you know i keep thinking of an old saturday night live episode where leslie jones is like okay i have two theories and <laughs> my, my thing for me is it's like helping others to whatever degree that might be in a healthy way and to create music so for me, it's it's a life. It's a lifestyle. It's it's a language that goes beyond any spoken language. Yeah. I mean, first came like vibration and frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the ohm. From what I've heard, yeah. no pun intended. I guess it could be pun intended. <laughs> so at the end of the day, when it comes to music, I mean, music is just about in all aspects of my life, and I've intentionally placed it that way because when I start working on music, or when there's something taking place within music that I'm working on. 
mountains start moving. Yeah. Well, not literally at the same time, cool things start taking place in my world. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's such, there, there's so many levels to it. And at the end of the day, though, it's, it's a very, very powerful element. It's led you down a rather interesting road right now. You just made an announcement or something that you're doing. So how about you share it with us? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm slowly spilling the beans. <laughs> so I have a content creation business and I've also been part, I have a label sign music project as well. And I have this other business life rhythms where I've been offering those private sessions. So, I mean, the first thing people usually come to me and they ask me about is usually like, how's your music going? And I'm like, well, I mean, like what, what avenue? Because <laughs> it's like you step into the mall which of Robert channel? Alexander. <laughs> I'm sorry, say again? Which channel are you talking about? Yeah, which channel, right? which yeah. store, which one do we yes. go to in the mall yeah. first, you know, and depending on where you go and what's interesting. So through some connections of mine, I've been able to work with a company based in the Montecito Santa Barbara area. And um, we were able to create a solution for a company in Pennsylvania who has this incredible bed that expands and contracts. And I didn't know if I should say anything yet. I wanted to make sure I got clearance because, you know, I don't like spilling the beans. They're like, no, you're not supposed to well, say You can anything. say what you're doing without naming the company. That's okay. I, I can do it now. The yeah. company's called Bright. You know, they're Bright. an incredible company. And they have like this incredible like luxury bedding that's available to the masses at the same time as available in luxury resorts. And they came to Three Sages. And I don't think I'm going to be like ruining anything. They say, hey, would you be able to work on a solution to help us with an app that's plugged in with the bed? It has like guided imagery and it has other, other stuff too. Well, Three Sages is a company that I've worked with. And basically um, they're an incredible company. I mean, and Bright's a powerful company as well. And um, me working with Three Sages before, they're like, hey, would you like to create a solution? So I spoke with the gentleman who I connected through there. And he was just like, like, what, what do you think? And I'm thinking, well, why not? Mm-hmm. So I created a series of content. Some of it are nature scapes, which I was able to work with with certain sounds. Um, some had binaural beats, you know, some had other things too. And it, it was just a really, really cool thing, you know, in relationship to um, the way things are unfolding and the way that things are going on. And so um, basically, long story short, um, yeah, I was able to work with, a few quite a, or uh, quite a few different people, different teams, and ended up creating uh, a sound solution ultimately for this platform. Now I have music on Insight Timer, and I definitely have music signed to a bunch of different labels, and of course I've created custom music for businesses. Um, so here I am, you know, creating this audio content. The stuff that I create is rather hypnotic and it's rather relaxing. Um, one of the tracks that I have on Insight Timer has at this point thirty three thousand plays, mm. and it's sleep music. And this was originally made for a channeler like years and years ago. And he gave me permission to use it for the masses. So here I am creating this powerful sleep music. Of course, our product testing with the company in Pennsylvania. And yeah, I mean, Bright's beds, they, they seem pretty phenomenal and haven't, well, you know, I, I wasn't able to get on one at the same time though, too, from what I've heard they're they're pretty powerful. Um, yeah. So creating the solution and also working with the individuals that were doing guided imagery while working with their tracks and ultimately all co-creating a solution, they're able to use this. And if you have a bright bed, B-R-Y-T-E, here I'm doing a plug, and same thing with Three Sages, an amazing company. Um, at the end of the day, if you go onto the app store, you'll actually see my name and you'll see some of the contributors' names under like, hey, like here's a sample track, here's Robert Alexander. Although I have Evlove, which is my music project and life rhythms. So yeah, it's it was a pretty powerful project to work on. I definitely felt stretched being a creative and having a whole suite where people can listen to and yeah, fun. Yeah. And the bed, I mean, it lulls you to sleep as you're able to select what your, what your favorite, do you want to hear like a guided journey? Do you want to hear a piece of music? You know, there, there's different soundscapes that are, in, that are in there as well. So. Well, I can imagine for a resort, you know, people are coming more stressed out. You never mind the trip, you know, getting ready for the trip or, and they're coming all wound up. And, you know, it, the whole thing is, is we want you to relax. We want you to have fun. We want you to be present. So there actually having a bed that kind of decompresses you physically, emotionally, and spiritually is yeah. setting your presence ready to receive the joy of the event. There you go. Exactly. I mean, there's, Many people are having a difficult time sleeping. I know I'm one of those people Mm -hmm. and many of us were rewired in a specific way. And I'm sure with this uh, pandemic that has been taking place, at least the one since 2020, because I was three years now, Mm -hmm. 
time flies when you're having fun. Yes. And, well, even like 2019, so a little, little over, you know, at the very end, you know, um, regardless though, I mean, what are we using to help ourselves feel good in a way yes. where it's like substance free? And that's the important thing about music as you know, as you said, substance free is that there isn't anybody that doesn't, you know, go through life without tightening up, getting stressed, you know, something <laughs> aggravating you. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and somebody says, like, take a breath. Yes, that's really important. Take a breath and you release. But, you know, you're still kind of feeling clenched. But having yeah. that right music there, and you know, even on your app, if you're on your phone, just to pray that, that can help you along with the breathing and calm you down. You know, because, you know, what is one of the biggest problems we have in the world is that people react to something that's happening. That had they taken the time to just kind of be still and recenter themselves and calm down, they would know that it's not worth reacting to or maybe respond in a different way. Oh, yeah. Right. Because so, reacting and responding are very different things. Very, very different things. So, you know, kind of taking that moment and having that piece of music there, like right there on your app, right on your phone. Okay, I'm feeling stressed out. I want to respond to this, but I need to make sure that it, I'm being responsible about this so let's take the breaths let's play the piece of music let's calm down and get centered and look at it for what it is without yeah. bringing out the you know the knives so to speak exactly and everybody has their own relationship to the way that they're responding and reacting i've had so many people in relationship to the anxieties i've experienced and you know many people want to talk which is cool because at one point i would talk to a lot of people about what's been going on inside and I i've been in a part of my journey where i've realized you know at the end of the day, there's certain things that can move. I realize the energy behind that anxiety is also could be the wind behind my sail versus yeah. the fire underneath my butt or a weight that's you know, dragging <laughs> me down. And sometimes things just need to move. And yes. the thing is, for instance, I'm working on a, um, ultimately it's going to be turning into an immersive reality project. And I What is that? Um, what's immersive reality or what mm -hmm. is the project? Oh, immersive reality. Um, from what I'm gathering, basically, there could be something that might be taking place in the VR world, or you can mm. actually walk into an experience mm -hmm. where music and visual they they pair together. Wow, it's a whole like an experience where you can really feel it with your senses and your, your body. That, that is a lot of the way we are going now. Those big goggle things, yeah, those big goggle things that take you actually uh, is an out of body experience where you're actually experiencing your body in the virtual world where you're actually yeah. feeling it. So actually having the music. Th that's setting your stage and how yeah. you're going to respond to what you're about to immerse into. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I can see that most certainly being the way of the future. Maybe oh, yeah. sadly, you know, as long as we're gaining balance, folks. <laughs> ultimately, that's that's the intention, right? Mm. And I don't this this may be more like a physical space versus putting on VR goggles, and mm. it may go into that. And I'm unable to share what the details are on that one. At the same time, I sent the initial concepts to the woman who was in touch with me, who I've known for a while now, and where and I woke up this morning with anxiety, mm -hmm. you know, we're hu human. I mean, yes, no matter how yes. involved I am, very, yes. very human. And no matter how many things people have shared with me, it's not like I'm like, la, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's everyone has their relationship. And yes. I, I woke up super early this morning. I'm sure I was feeling like I'm at deeper level. Great. Awesome. I get to be on this amazing show, <laughs> you know, and just a variety of other things that have been taking place in my world as well. And I just, I started listening to these. I was felt inspired. Like, you know what? Like yeah. listen to some of the concepts that I was providing this, this woman. And I did, I did. And I just felt this wave, you know, I just felt a little bit more of a chill, you know, in just terms of like a chill feeling. And then I was able to get up and start my day and, you know, jump in the shower, get myself ready. And I didn't feel the wave of anxiety anymore. Right. Exactly. You know? I and mean, but wild, just, you know. That anxiety comes through. I mean, right now you have a lot on your plate and, and a lot of the things that you've worked for for a long time are all coming to fruition at the same time, which is the way it works, right? Yes. And, you know, like me the other day, I've got A, B, C, D, D, E, and F, you know, going on right now, but all I need to do is pay attention to A, B, C. And sometimes you wake up and, you know, the D, E, F want to get in on the picture too. And it's like, no, and no, And the G, H, I, J's are further yeah, down yeah, too. Yeah, you know? yeah, they're knocking at the door as well, right? So, and it's like, no, no, you know, it's one step at a time. Deal with what's in front of you right now. And if things are happening, 
simultaneously, which they generally do, which is what's yeah. happening to you, then it's like, well, how do I keep my focus? I pay attention to the one thing at a time so that each person is getting the quality they need. And that's oh, again yeah. where, you know, the music again can kind of reset you and put you on that track so that you're not flapping in the wind. As I was saying before, it's very easy for us to be in a seat of, including myself, or um, yes. And I'd exactly. rather add to that. Uh, ah, yeah. And those sounds too, you know? Yes. And some people, even though they're instructed to do deep breathing, it may not fully work. Some people talk about doing box breathing. Right. Um, I, I get that, you know, and this has zero to dismiss anything in relationship no, what to that. What's for you? Exactly. Even journaling. I mean, I've noticed when my plate, if I start, I don't want to call it falling apart, if I start having a place where things feel a bit overwhelming and the, the boat gets rocked quite a bit, it gets a little sloshy in the storm, then I'll go to a coffee shop and I'll sit down and assess what's going on without questioning too much about it. Yes. And usually because the answers are inside, mm -hmm. I start writing down or channeling or whatever one wants to label it, um, what, what these things are. And usually I get some type of course of action. And mm -hmm. I've also this too, being very mindful with my time. You know, what type of frequency am I creating if I'm creating yes. from a place of panic, let alone coming from a place of calm? Mm -hmm. And even if whatever pops up that might be unnerving or may have been classified as anxiety at one point, that's okay. And attuning to our mm -hmm. own frequency is a very important place too. And sometimes we need to hear dark, heavy, darker music or deep, heavy, darker music in that way. Sometimes you want to feel a little bit more light and fluffy. Sometimes we just need something a little bit more, you know, minimal. People ask me, like, what's your favorite style of music? And if they saw my Apple music, they might be like, whoa, like, what is going on? Like, I feel like I'm almost like a walking jukebox. Mm, I know. That's the thing, because it's it's a different tune for a different mood, isn't it? Like, you yeah, know, yeah. There, there's something that comes up, you know, always on Facebook because I've posted it and they come up, you know, for me to repost. And, you know, it is Where is the Love? by the black eyed peas and yeah. it is and it's just you know it's so powerful it's a transcending of time and there's just something we are asking but you know it is a, and it's very accountable music where it's asking people where is it you know where is it what are we going to do about it and, but it, by being asked through the music it's less offensive it's yeah. more inviting and i think that's where music i mean what is a movie without music yeah, You know, it gets lost. If you switch the music off and just watch the action, it's lost. The music is the drama. It is the anticipation. It is the exaltation. And as you said, even when you're in a darker mood, sometimes you want that rrr, 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 gutty type music. And it has its place because it's it's releasing. But Absolutely. it's the thing, is, don't get stuck there. Allow it to ascend and transcend into another frequency. Yeah. So it's lifting you out and keeping you moving on. And there's no wrong to it. It's like no. those old um, commercials, in, at least in the U.S., about Reese's peanut butter cups. There, there's no one way to eat a Reese's. And there's so many ways <laughs> yeah. to go about it, you know? Yeah. And, you know, some people can be like, oh, that that dark music is like that really super like heavier, like depressing music. It's it's, it's a double. And it's like, well, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not here to be poo-pooing on that. Right. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's not having me think, you know, kill, 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 you know? Exactly. And it's exactly. You know, yeah. what frequency, again, are we attuning to and what really resonates? I mean, or... you know, I will say that the heavy metal and the, you know, it's it's just like it's very kind of what I call one note and a lot of anger. And there's no trans transitioning into something else. And I think that music, like us, we need to flow. Everything about us, our blood, our oxygen, our energy yeah. is constantly in flow. And I think when we have the music that can take us through the emotions in flow, not, mm -hmm. you know, highs and lows, but just, you know, just light waves, yeah. the wavelengths, then it does keep us on the equilibrium. It oh, does yeah. stop us going from one extreme to the other. And I think this is, you know, when we're in particular moods, I think we do need to be mindful of what kind of music we put on. Oh, sure. Being right. intentional is yeah. huge. Like, and just like craving food, you know, at the same time, though, too, it's like at one moment we might be craving a pizza. It doesn't mean we have to have pizza day in and day out. Right. And what kind of pizza are we talking about? You know, it's a whole, whole, whole different thing. So, I mean, based on what, who we're around, what we listen to, you know, what, what we consume in terms of, you know, food or, you know, even the media that we're watching, you know, that's why one of the reasons why I feel that so grateful for what you're doing, because I mean, there's the educational component, there's the wisdom, there's the attunement 
frequency wise with what you're doing with everybody, you know, it, or just in terms of sharing the information and what have you. Yeah. I mean, this is a big deal. Well, the thing is, we address kind of what the problem is, right? You know, um, but what we're doing is we're inviting everyone to be the solution. And, and you know, everybody has the power to be the solution. Oh, yeah. We all know what's wrong in the world. We don't need to keep harping on about that. But it's the powerless to, to feel, well, what can I do about it? But yeah. when we decide to step into the empowerment of this is what you can do, and most of the time, nine times out of 10, it's change who you are, live in your beautiful divine consciousness, come from the heart, yeah. uh, raise that frequency and that beautiful vibration inside of you, you've already become part of the solution. Big time. Right? And if Big we have time. an entire chorus of people in that higher frequency and vibration, it resonates out an invitation to other people. Absolutely. Hands down. Hands so that's down. the power of music. It's whether it is coming out in a song or coming out in an instrument, it is, it, it's such a big part of our lives unknowingly. It's, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's on our, every commercial. It's in every TV show, every movie. It, it is in every aspect of our lives. And what we have to, I think, maybe identify is how is that music serving us? Don't just listen for the sake of listening. You know, how is that music serving us? What kind of mood am I in before it and after it? Because then it becomes your go-to, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. There's a reason why it's placed in film yeah. or TV. There's a reason why mm -hmm. the music supervisor is selecting for those specific pieces of film and why people are clamoring to get on that list for that commercial. Yeah. And there's a reason why the director, whoever is making that final decision, is resonating with what this piece is going to be to fit this scene or to fit this commercial slot or to fit this one video or um, a, a sonic branding for, mm -hmm. for a commercial. You, you just never know. There, there's so many facets to it. And just like having a, a meal that's made at a restaurant or, or somewhere else. I know I keep going back to food. I guess I love my music and food. <laughs> Maybe it's the doing me. Eat music. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, though, it's everything it is food for your soul it right? is so by kind of listening to music while you're eating i mean this is why some restaurants play fast music because they want you to eat fast so they can turn the table over but where other Again, music, other places place. yeah so other places play more ambient music background where they want you to converse and take your time yeah. so if you're going into a restaurant where it's loud music where you can't even talk to each other they just want you to eat and get out yeah right so you know you can book your restaurant accordingly. So, but you know, and it's like going going to a doctor's office too. Didn't mean to yes. cut you off. Were you going to say? No. no, you're right. Going to a doctor's office, uh, they set the ambience to calm people down with the music, right? So you'll be surprised if you go. There's some doctor's offices I would go into, and the music would sound either really cheesy, or at times they would have some sort of like strange, like awkward music, you know, in the background. Where if yeah. a person's like in pain, how can that help them create pain, or how can that help them create calm? Not right. Not pain oops so in this case basically it's just <laughs> wherever you go like even if you're on a hold line mm. you find it rather fascinating that apple has your it gives you the ability to have your choice in music while you're on hold yes you because know, otherwise really especially if you're on hold for an hour it can be very monotonous with the same old song over and over again now yeah. you know when i go do 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 you know i'm not singing that properly it was in my head much much better but you know you've got X Files, the music. All it oh, needed. I, I heard you. Right, they're just a few notes. You've got um, Durham, 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 and you know the um, um, the shark one. Jaws. Uh, Jaws. Thank you. Um, you've got certain musics where you know Star Trek and all of these things. A few notes identifies immediately. Mm -hmm. All right. And that that is that power of music. You don't need to listen to all of it. You know immediately it's got your attention. Mm -hmm. And that, and and look at how many years, you know, fifty years, sixty years, whatever. You hear it, and immediately you're taken there. Yeah. Right. So time travel. Yeah. You, you would think like, what is time travel, right? And like, for, I know there's periods of my life where I would listen to something, and it took me right back then and there how I was yes. feeling, mm -hmm. what I may have worn, where I was at the time, yeah. how the era was during that time, and I've seen. Well, I've watched a film a good couple of times and it's in relationship to dementia patients and mm. how music would be able to work with dementia, dementia yes. patients and where it totally brings them back. People that could barely even speak, they listen to something. This one guy, he, he was on YouTube and he had tons and tons, like millions and millions of views. 
he could barely even move or barely even say anything. You put on this music, his eyes open up all wide, and you're going, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like he's moving and yes. you know, he's doing this thing, even humming and singing just by putting on a pair of headphones. Yes. Yeah, Mind this it. happened to a woman that uh, um, a Jewish woman really in the last stages of all time is. And this woman started mm. singing a, a, a famous Jewish song to her. And next thing you know, she's singing along, even though she's like so far gone from reality. And that's the thing about dementia and Alzheimer's. It's the past memories they remember. It's not the current memories. And yeah. um, they've also found touch is a wonderful way to help dementia and Alzheimer's patients as well, because it literally does trigger the brain. So if you imagine if you had the touch and the music at the same time, how impactful that is, because, you know, why do we like to dance together? Because you're dancing to the music, you're holding each other. It's that connection that yeah. is so utterly powerful and like you can listen to music on your own absolutely fantastic but when you're in actually somebody's arms rocking back and forth it's yeah. it's, it's even more so right absolutely absolutely and plus well absolutely like who are we actually um who are we are who are we spending our time with as we're listening to this music mm-hmm. who are we around when we're dancing yeah. I used to go swing dancing a long time ago. And it was one of those things where you can talk with almost anybody and say, would you like to dance? Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's go dance. I mean, of course, there's a creeper. It's like, hey there, sugar. Do you want to dance? Hey, hey, hey above <laughs> the waist, above the waist, you know? And it's like, <laughs> hold up. Although it's more of like a social mm-hmm. social dancing. Some people are more engaging than others at the same yes. time. If we're having a party or, you know, participating in a group, especially when it comes to, you know, sound baths or when it comes to like a small, you know, quaint gathering, I mean, it's great to enjoy the intimacy of that group. Yes. And having the right music to support that. Did you see the new Elvis movie? I did, parts of it. Um, you know, there's the the scene where he's listening to the black music and then going to the church and how it influenced him. And you're seeing this man and woman dance very erotically, you know, to a very kind of guttural, heavy, deep soul rooted, you can't help but get into it type music and how that kind of became his compass for music that Mm -hmm. feeling of it and that's where he said I can't sing standing still I've got to move the music makes me move right and that's the thing is that you know it's a music is meant to move you one way or the other whether it's physically emotionally you know, vibrationally, it is meant to move you. And why do we want to get up and dance? Why are we even when we're driving and we're singing along, the shoulders are going, you know, or the, the hips sure. are going, you know, it's because we're engaged in the music. It is it is meant to move us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We never know where our influence is coming from. So, you know, what what is the influence of you? Who have been the influences to you that is, you know, that really does speak to you, that set you on this path? You have another 15 hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> Narrow it down. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Summarize. I'm playing and not playing at the same time. I mean, there, there's so many influences. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think one of the biggest pet peeves I would ever get, and I know people mean well, it's like, what's your favorite music? Yeah, I know. Like, there is no one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there, there's different influences. Like, I have a cousin who's well-known in inter- entertainment. His name is Randy Kerber. He's done, like, a lot of, like, major... Um, major motion picture scores and what have you. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. He's really immersed in his craft from what I've you know seen. And I mean, he's like living in Paris now. And when I was playing a keyboard as a kid, like I never took formal lessons. I was really resistant. Mm-hmm. And so at one point, you know, he inspired me. And the more that I think about it, he was one of my inspirations. Mm-hmm. He, I didn't realize I was doing looping at the time when it comes to creating music and he had like these dat tapes back in the day and, mm-hmm. you know, putting something in and I was playing something and then I was hearing myself play afterwards and playing on top of it, you know? And I guess you could say he was one of my first influences that way. A um, whole bunch of different artists, like this one guy's name is BT, not BTS, mm-hmm. BT. Mm-hmm. And his, I think the way you pronounce his last name is Tronsu, Tronso, mm-hmm. Brian Tronso. The guy's amazing. He's a visionary. He's been doing it a lot with like NFTs in the metaverse. And um, he's he's been a pioneer in so many different ways. And um, definitely an influence. Um, one of my favorite DJs who I actually met as well. I met, you know, Brian like years and years ago. I actually went to a couple of his shows. Charles Webster, he's one. Um, there's a gentleman who I will listen to a lot. His name is Lemongrass. He has that project called Lemongrass. His name is Roland Voss. He's in Germany. Um yeah, there, there's just so many people. 
I mean, so many people that have inspired me on my Sonic journey. Mm. Um, one major inspiration, and I'm looking forward to having you interview at some point. And I did tell her about you, young lady. Her name is uh, Ginger Adam Little. She's mm. one of my influences. She's my mentor. There's another gentleman. His name is Richard Slade. He inspired me by his guided journey work. And that's what I do with my clients when it comes to the life rhythms work. Ginger, some of Ginger's training as well from what she shared with me in my own journey. I was able to integrate that into my own process mm -hmm. when I work with people. So, I mean, there's, there's so many inspirations. I mean, so, so, so many inspirations. I wouldn't be where I am today without them. No, and you, that's the thing. You, 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 it, we're not meant to be one note people, so to speak. You know, uh, we don't eat just eat one food. We eat many things on the plate. We like the variety of the taste together, the colors together. And it's the same with music. You know, you know, yeah. I'm always saying that it's up to us to find out what our gifted instrument is, to learn how to play it. Then yeah. select the right orchestra where we can, in each in our own strengths, come together in harmony mm -hmm. that can resonate out with people in invitation. But, oh, yeah. you know, some people can play more than one instrument, but some people can play that one instrument in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I had a young Justin Johnson, which I'm trying to get back on again, but he's doing a new album. People would make him instruments, guitar instruments out of oil cans or spades or this or that. And when yeah. he plays, he and the guitar are one. Yep. Right. He, they just merge together. It doesn't matter what it is. He, those strings and him are attached. And that's why I yeah. love interviewing musicians because you don't need to chase your heart and soul. You, you're it. The music has has aligned you. You're already you expressing mean. it, right? Yeah, I play lefty uh, guitar, so I, I know what you mean. When I when I connect, I feel the channeling. Mm -hmm. I have many stories about that one. Well, at least a good couple of them when playing guitar and doing things like that. Yeah, and the thing is, is that there are different instruments that are going to hit you in different ways. It's never mm -hmm. any kind of one instrument, right? It says that it depends where that instrument is placed in the music, what it's representing in that moment has to, you know, how that instrument, you may not like the instrument per se, but when it's accompanied by and it has that great position, then you love it in that, in that place. And I yeah. think it's, uh, it's important for us to open up to variety. I love blues i you know i love that 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 deep rhythm you know as a i interviewed uh, joe coleman a little while ago you know the, um, there's uh the drifters and there's the planters and the uh, one of the temptations guys and they've all got together to create a new group and oh. i was joe, talking to joe coleman and um and joe from the drifters um and it, it's just like you know the the music that they produce and the way they're producing it together, but what it means to them, because when they're, when they're performing, what you you're not just getting their voice or the music in the background. What you're getting is their heart and soul presented to you right there on the mm -hmm. plate. Right. Absolutely. And I think you know, the difference between the music that comes from the heart and soul as to that, that comes from technical. Mm -hmm. I don't think AI could ever produce music that's going to move us. It can technically put all the right notes together, but where is the heart and soul in it? And that comes oh, exactly. from the human aspect. Yeah, it's like the, there's, there's certain people where even though they were classically trained, they can only go so far. Yeah. And I notice themselves feeling limited. They have to play this one song perfectly. Yes. And it has to be very, just like very technical in that way. For me, I mean, I, I'm self-taught. I maybe I took a couple of classes and yeah, just the thought of me even taking classes, even coming from a family, my yeah. father's side of the family, especially that's um, very musically inclined. I mean, it, it's just, I'm not laughing at them. I just find it just interesting and baffling because I remember there are certain people, they're very like, very heady about it, very mm -hmm. heady versus very hearty. Yes. And for me, I'm very much in the heart of it. Like when I right. write stuff, yes, I, I'm I'm in it. Like I, my essence is totally in it. Totally relate. hear it. And there's yeah. even hearing and listening. You know what I mean? They're, yes. they're two very, very different things. Yes. I, I, I remember somebody once um, watching the work that I do and pointing out that I may do it very well, but I don't have the piece of paper. So I'll never get anywhere, you know? And it's like, what's the piece of paper got to do with it? You know? Yeah. But, but you, know, and that, you, you, you know, I watch talent shows and you've got people that sing beautifully technically. And then you've got somebody else that comes out with a cracked voice, 
you know, with a, with some emotion behind it, and and you feel it. What we what do we want for music? We, we know the elevator music can be that lovely background music where it's mm -hmm. you're not interfering with any thoughts. It's just there. Uh, right. But when we're when we're wanting to listen music to move us, we want to know the person performing it, playing it, is being moved by their own music. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. The 20%. <laughs> you know, if you don't just do the music on your, or the different type of varieties where you provide music for other people or you go through what you did with me, kind of the private the, session, the resident the session. Private session, yeah, the going through the discovery of what my blockages is and then, mm -hmm. you know, putting together the affirmations with the music. Um, but you, you know, whether you're doing it for a bed or for a company or whatever, but you yeah. also can take somebody and do their entire website and, you know, build the whole structure of their business along with the whole package. You're not just a one size fits all. Are you asking me about creating music for a website or are you asking me about yeah. creating just no, designing? Yeah, the designing. I mean, you do it all. As much as I can. I like to be <laughs> as transparent and authentic with that. I, I work also on Main Street Design. You know, they, they work with web development and I work with them on different mm -hmm. projects as well. Casey's incredible. I've known him when I used to work for a branding agency and brought him on board. And him and his team, they're they're phenomenal. They're they're in Southern California. I highly recommend them to anybody and everybody that are really looking to have a difference with their web development. They're incredible. And uh, yeah, I, I work on wireframes. I have a background, I'm talking about a piece of paper. I do have a background with graphic design. I've been doing it for years. Um, there's various ways where I work with design, whether, and branding is so broad. Mm -hmm. So whatever the things are in relationship to that, I'm sure I'm more than happy to talk. Marketing strategy, whole different story. There are quite a few people I'm sure I can connect others with too, because I love, you know, connecting mm -hmm viable vetted businesses for sure and yeah i definitely you know create music that goes on various websites so that's what one wants so it's well i think actually you know i look at a person's website before um i bring them on because i want to yeah. know am i inspired by them and you know, if i want my audience to be inspired am i inspired by them very often you get a site that you know is being designed generically by somebody else and isn't representative of the person. But I also think that, well, while one is cruising through the information, having some soft music that represents who they are, yeah. you know, it really does kind of set the stage, you know? And I think, you know, play this while you're cruising. So to make sure that you actually can listen to it while you're going to other pages, I think would be a, a great idea because it, you're setting the tone in which the way you want to be received. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because otherwise people are going to read it from their own tone or perspective, and it may not be the right tone. So yeah. if you listen to the music, and this is set, this is the invite to set your tone here, your tone here. And while you're reading and digesting what I do, this is the frequency in which I do it. Mm -hmm. Years ago, the last version of my website, liferhythms.us, basically, um, it had an area up on top. It was originally made for the one who's a musician. Well, even though I do have a music background, I have music signed to a couple of labels. It's still, it was the music wellness brand that I have where I'm offering the private sessions and, you know, digital sound bath experiences and other unique things that way. So basically um, you can actually click on top and you can like, I guess you could say surf the site. Now I have like a little music lounge on my website. So people get a better idea about what I'm doing. If they want to go to, you know, Apple Music, or they wanted to go to Amazon or Pandora, there are those areas as well. At the same time, you could still press play and open up a new window and like listen mm. to music on different albums and, you know, the chakra collection that I have that's available mm. under Life Rhythms and, and other things too. So it's, I think, depending on where a person is, what's going on, if that, if they are, I definitely invite others to explore sonic branding, what that might look like. And yes. ultimately that can help support and bring continuity and consistency and even clarity and any other word that starts with a C <laughs> to, it, to bring up. Collaboration, you know, compassion. Collaboration. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, the, if we're kind of in a hurry or, or we're feeling a little stressed or angst, that is the way we're going to read the information. Mm hmm Right now, if we, you know, look at something and place that music and that music again sets the tone, it, it channels us in. It takes us out of where we're at and it channels us in so that we can digest the information again from that frequency. 
I think not only on, on our business websites or anything else, I think it's actually good to have an independent app, even on your phone, mm -hmm. that, you know, that, that is you, it's your channel, that even if you're going to meet someone for coffee <laughs> or have it, you know, while you're working or have it when you're with a group of people and you want to set that tone stage, that you can just yeah. press it and have that background music. Because I think that um, when people are meeting you for that coffee, they're coming rushing from something or whatever else. And then, you you know, you're everybody's regurgitating rather than conversing. And I think if there is that kind of background music there, just for a few moments, it just, uh, yeah. okay, now it's setting the stage of like, ah, decompress. Now we can have that nice talk. And right. there's a level of intimacy involved too. Yes. I appreciate the inspiration because I'm in the process of creating a series of events that are rooted around like music and community and, and various things too. And why not, you yes. know, have an experience for two people that may not know each other. Right. They're both able to exchange a piece of music and they can both listen to it and connect yeah. and share, share their thoughts, be open to the experience, being able to bond on the experience. Yeah. Now they have an association there. There's something to transparency, transparently and vulnerably, you know, connect to. And then there's something really powerful with that. I mean, there's so much further you can go with this. It's like, you know, uh, kids in the car. Mum can play that certain type of music while the kids are in the car fighting at the end of school day, this, that, or on a trip. And uh, just that enough to kind of, again, hone yeah. them in right there's so many ways we can use music as a way of calming a situation centering or even um invigorating or you know setting that stage to to ignite something inside of people as a generator but yeah. i think is if we have that you know our phones are full of apps nowadays why don't we actually have the apps that we can play that music that can be i need this I need this frequency right now, calm, or I need this one of generator. I need this one. There's a fight going on. <laughs> you know, it's something that's going to calm it down. Music and to I, stop a fight you know, right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People and stop I, it. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off as well. There's this one episode of Chappelle show where um, Dave Chappelle and John Mayer, you know, they're, they're experiencing playing guitar in different environments. So John Mayer is right there sitting in some type of restaurant. And then Dave Chappelle's just like, okay, John, go. And he goes and he wants to do, the, do this experiment. And at one point he's like in some type of boardroom meeting, you know, and he's playing the guitar in the boardroom meeting. It, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. And there's one point he was, he was in a barbershop and he's playing in the barbershop and people are looking at him. And at one point, you know, they decided to do their own version of music. And I just want to keep it, you know, neutral on that topic. And then basically <laughs> the, at one point they were singing outside and they were playing like every rose has its thorn, <laughs> you know? And at one point this one guy goes up and he's like, I'll listen to me. And she was like, you listen to this music? He goes, yeah, I was raised in the suburbs, man. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. It was such a good, such a good one about how music really affects you in that way. It does. It does. There's you know, familiarity I think... too. Like my friend's son, who there's since I would pick up from school or drop him off to go somewhere. And um, at the same time, I would be like, Hey, is there anything you want to hear? And usually he wants to play this one exact same song. So there's times I'm like, hey, it's got a surprise for you. Press mm -hmm. the song. He hears it, nodding his head. Yeah. I've got a 22-month-old grandson, and you, there's certain music that you play, and then you just see him. He gets this smile, goofy smile on his face, and his body <laughs> starts bouncing up and down, and it's so cute. You know, you've got this, these little legs bouncing up and down. He hasn't kind of got the rhythm back and forth yet. It's the bouncing up and down, but the smile. And I've been interview introducing him to Nat King Cole and to jazz and to – Pentatonics yeah. and to other things, other type of music there, just to introduce him to different types of music. And it's very interesting where I see him be engaged in, you know, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, he's got his old kids music that mom and dad play and he wants to have it over and over and over again. Yeah. You know? um, but when I'm there, I kind of play the other music just to introduce it to him, you know, sure. so, which I think it's, I think it's important that, whether you play an instrument or not, and not everybody is an instrumentalist in, in fact of actually playing an instrument, um, or everybody, not everybody is a vocal, but absolutely everybody is impacted by music in their life. And I think it's important to introduce music to our children very early, oh, just to, to use it as that tool. Even to, in the womb. You know, yes, yes, most certainly. 
because headphones uh, go here. <laughs> yeah, and some people do that. They they literally put the music thing right up to their belly, you and the vibration. You would think for those for mm, yeah. know, the belly, you know, yes. specifically for the belly. Yeah, versus it, just taking an existing one and go right, you know. But it's the vibration that goes through there, and then they have found afterwards that when you play that music when they're fussy, it calms them down. So oh, wow. they're, they're, it's already in their psyche. It's already a part of that there. And it's, uh, you know, our kids are sponges and whether it's good or bad, they're going to absorb it. So it's really good to get some good practices in and use music. You know, um, I used to use music as a, when my kids were fighting or they're all wound up, then, you know, I put on something like we are the champions, we'll all sing to it or put on something else um, to either calm them down or spend the emotion so they can calm down. Oh, yeah. Right? You know, so it's, uh, or I'd sing opera to them and they'll do anything to shut me up. Uh. <laughs> so, you know, we can use it as that kind of weapon as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I love Brazil 66. I love his type of music as well. But that's the thing is, you know, the, it isn't just one channel. It is the very many types of channels and, and music really belongs everywhere. Absolutely. In every aspect of our lives. And and I think, you know, in business, it's it's really important. Um, even like if you're having a Zoom meeting, maybe you have some music playing while people are waiting to come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Again, setting the stage of how you want the frequency to go. Absolutely. Intention goes a very long way. A little yeah. bit can go definitely a very long way. And that's what you specialize in is customizing that music that is the frequency that people want to express. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you intuitively know, you know, I mean, they could speak to what they want, but you intuitively know what kind of music they need for, from talking to them, that not just the words, but the, the, the vibe of a person, their own frequency of a person. So oh, you exactly. can, you're intuitively, you're in tuned in them. So you know what kind of music to give them. Big time. The thing too is a lot of people are missing the law of attraction. Mm. People use affirmations and that that's beautiful. I mean, that that's amazing. The thing is, the missing component is that, is actually experiencing it. And if they don't have a reference point, then why not get down to the root? Because yes. what you're really expressing, whether it's more money or a home or a relationship or a change in health or circumstances, it's like, once we experience this, then we'll be, you know, fill in the blank. Yeah. Well, why don't we get to that root of fill in the fill in the blank first? Yes. And not forcing it, really, truly, deeply, authentically experiencing it. And that, that's one thing I've learned. People are like, well, you're a sound healer. And what exactly do you, well, for me, I, I refrain from using the word sound healing, even mm -hmm. though I have a really powerful process when working with people. And it's a very delicate one too. Yeah. It, it's just something that's very, very simple at the same time, very delicate. Yeah. And it's catering for feeling great or not feeling so great. It's not about ripping off a Band-Aid. Right. It's about whatever one subscribes to. So from that point, I tell people, like, I, I work with your frequency. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, even though there's there's certain things I may tune, you know, to a certain you know tuning, for me I really more subscribe to what's what's really taking place inside someone, and at the same time, what are they experiencing then? Where do we capture that? Yes. And then away from that, I also my one of my secret sauce items, I guess you could say, is intention. Mm -hmm. Building the intention that things are working. There there is a certain way where I play. There are certain textures that I use. There are certain protocols that I use too. Although it's not necessarily so cut and dry. I mean, certain things are like certain standards I set up for the foundation. Anything within the container, like anything is possible. And I do what I can to support the main feature, which is the voice. Mm -hmm. So why not work with each person energetically? Why not work with a group collectively? If someone needs, you know, sonic branding, they need something. There, there's ways to go about that too. Getting a better understanding. Do I need to know the ins and outs and the whys of everything? No, I really care about wherever the person is, wherever they're going, whatever, wherever the business is going, whatever is most important for them, but there's things that they resonate with. You know, at the end of the day, like, what are they willing, not no, what are they, for, for businesses, for the end user, whoever is listening to it, what are they feeling? Right. When it's an individual, what are they listening to? What are they feeling? You know, what's helping them create what's most important for them? And it's for them or yeah, for them, from them. Yeah. You know, I mean, yoga studios, fantastic to have it you know kind of in the background where the person is melodically speaking because it's all about fluidity and calmness um 
you know, one of the techniques I use for for manifestation or for recentering is is tapping, which is oh, nice. great. And then, you know, like doing it in the shower, wonderful conduit, but also uh, tapping to some background music that is smooth and calming and, t- and tapping at the same time because it helps you focus in on the tapping rather than the static out there. The music has blocked out the static and it's given the calmness for you yeah. to be able to concentrate. And sometimes that's what that music is for. It's to sound out all the static and yeah. just, you know, have that lovely film around you so you can concentrate on going in and centering and manifesting or healing yourself. Right. Um, and that music is that companion for you. A trusted friend. Absolutely. A trusted Absolutely. friend. Uh, we've talked about when you're not so busy and when I'm not so busy, because we've both got a lot on our plate of actually doing some meditations, you know, mm-hmm. kind of both speaking some meditations and putting it to music and marketing it out there. And, you know, just sometimes two or three minutes. That's all somebody needs is just some soft what words, just some soft music. And it's just like, um, you know, I'm feeling out of sorts or I'm feeling a, a little stressed or I just need a little motivation. Click. It's there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just rejuvenates you and it puts you back on track or it 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 sparks something inside of you, whatever it is you need. The thing yeah. is, th- that's what music can do. It can be there for whatever you need. Mm-hmm. Very much like the universe or yeah. whatever we subscribe to in terms of the divine power. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, I remember hearing at a self-realization fellowship lecture at one point from one of the uh, one of the brothers, one of the monks that was, you know, there. He mentioned basically, it's like, well, God is there for us whenever God's available. I mean, you know, God's there. It's really up to mm-hmm. us to tune in yeah. or to basically, whenever we choose to make that time, it's there. Well, yeah, so music. It, it, it doesn't matter what religion you are, you know, uh, whether it's God, source, universe, energy, it doesn't matter, you know, what you want right. to call it. Um, we are made up of frequencies and particles from the universe. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we are at one with the universe, God, source, energy, whatever you wish to call it. Uh, We are, uh, everything is numbers. So we're all part of that mathematical equation. We're all part of the the matrix of it. And so, but where we like the sense of connectiveness, we want to also know that our own instrument can be played and heard as an individual. You know, we want to stand out as the indi- indi- individual that is also a part of the collective. Big time. Absolutely. And that's kind of what's important, isn't it? Because when you do that connectiveness, then it keeps you on track to whatever it is your mission is in life. 100%. Well, a trillion percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the music, you know, um, the music is in us. The music's all around us. You know, I remember in Rome, you know, going to a place, knock, knock on the door, you know, Joe sent me and, and I was with a friend and he said, uh, and I said, well, there's nobody here. And he said, just sit, relax. We're going to have a drink, just wait. And then one by one musicians came from their various gigs and they got a drink. They may said of hi to each other, but that's it. And they all sit down and started playing and they all started playing cohesively together. Nothing mm-hmm. planned, nothing discussed. And it was one of the most beautiful two hours I've ever experienced of just them all jamming together. Uh, Just they've played what the audience needed at -hmm. their various gigs. Now they're playing for themselves. But the beautiful, cohesive harmony between them of just, you know, they're just spending their souls. Ah, it was nectar. It was wonderful. That's exactly. There's a gentleman who I haven't given too much props with online. And um, he has a project called Welker Road, W-E-L-K-E-R Road. And I'm so excited for him to be releasing more and more music. He's a very dear friend of mine. And um, he, he's actually has a, we collaborated on a track that's on my, currently my most recent EP, which is Thank You For Listening, mm-hmm. or uh, Ev Love. And he, he's just, he's phenomenal. And when we jam, yeah, whether it's him on the drums or on the guitar or me playing the, or we're both playing guitar. It's been a long time since we've actually played guitars together. I mean, the synergy is just mm. off the hook. Yes. And literally, like when we start connecting with people and that synergy is there, like the, the way that we connect, 
Yeah. I mean, the vibe is there. The yeah. flow is there. It's an yeah. effortless, seamless process. Right. And there's and a beautiful music. harmony. And that's that. when the music happens. <laughs> and that's when the music happens. Yes. And that's where the music happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, I'm, you know, I think it's always that um, we may have preference of different music at different times for different reasons. But uh, fundamentally, it is how does it connect with our vibe? Right? Are we on the same wavelength as that music? Is it something that's just tapping us on the shoulder? Is it something that's immersing itself in the very poor of you? Is it having you elongate your body or hug your body? But yeah. when we allow that music in, it is the very best friend you could ever have because it's it's always there trusting without needing anything back from you. Yep. Yeah. Again, a training for sound. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be doing a business show which people can go to the mentors program and see all the mentors we have there, of which you're going to be one, where we're going to be doing a show where you're going to be talking precisely what your services are and how people um, can get those services. But for now, I want people to go back and listen to the other shows that we've done uh, because we've talked about various things in the past. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and also, you know, right now, um, Give us your site. Give us how people can get hold of you for people listening to the show. I really want to encourage them to go to the mentors page and, and listen to your businesses as well, because that will be a shorter show on exactly what you're, you're offering, because you are offering so much. But just oh, yeah. right now, how people can get hold of you if they're only listening to this show and, uh, um, and maybe what you've got going on right now for people. In terms of what I'm offering, mm -hmm. gotcha. Just want to make sure. Um, I am old school. You know, everybody has their preferences. Some people would rather, you know, do a phone call or a text message. Some people would rather um, go through social media. Um, a good way, especially if one may be tech savvy, and everyone has their levels when it comes to that too. Mm -hmm. I would have them check out liferhythms.us. So that's L I F E R H Y T H M S dot us. So dot us. And so there's different ways to listen to my music. There's ways where you can um, contact me directly through email. Um, there's ways to be in touch with me through social media. And I, I, I kid you not, if you write and say, "Hey, I heard your I heard your information. I heard what you were sharing with Sarah through um, through her show." Believe me, I will get back and be like, "I am so grateful you're reaching out." And I assure you, I will. Um, if there's a delay. I kid you not. I, I will definitely get back and just thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. I work with people all over the, all over the world. I connect with people all over the world. And I'm always more than happy to expand my connections and doing what I can to be there of service. So I guess the website might be a great place to start. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're going to be talking about Evolve and all the other things that you're doing in, in the mentors thing. So please go to the mentors and you can go to orchardofwisdom.org. It will be up there as well, as well as a few other sites and of course on yeah. discoverymedia.com. But and the mentors will give the listing of all the things that you're offering as well. But Absolutely. fundamentally, if you're needing a piece of music for something in your life, you're the person to go to. Oh, thank you. I know there's plenty of other things and you're wondering about what I've been up to you and there, mm -hmm. there are quite a few things with my music project as well as what I'm doing with my content creation business where I'm doing the graphic design and sound design and yes private sessions any questions any curiosities please like do not be shy I, I will not bite I'm all about embracing I'd rather give a hug than bite somebody yeah, exactly yes yeah, yeah bite somebody might get rabies way, you know and above the waist <laughs> yeah. I'm cool, you know yes I'm, I'm all about the hug and you know again that's something that that music does. And when you're with somebody, when you connect on the vibe, as I said, I introduced you to our dear Isabel Hunt and you guys talked for three hours and uh, you're now part of oh the new goodness. web co-creators and uh, you're that kind of person. So somebody, you know, I don't know how this fits in my life. I don't know what I should do. Just reach out, have a chat. And I promise you, you'll, you'll work it out. Very connections are so vital. Yeah. I mean, there's the people in life. They're just like, Oh yes. And it's like, wait, this usually means no. Yeah, it means yes. yes. <laughs> and at the end of the day, when you connect with people like ourselves, I mean, it's it's building more family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you see that a lot. There's a lot of buzzwords and jargons and mm -hmm. lots of things that are trending right now. And at the end of the day, when you actually have people that are like, you know, you and me, like everyone, like, like Sarah and I, I mean, there's something very powerful when you bridge connections and community. I mean, yeah. I remember participating in a master class last week, actually, and the person's just looking out to the side. 
and she's just speaking and let me see a show of hands. Let me see the faces uh. on here. Cool. Okay. Next. And it's like, we're human. No connection. If you really want a no robot. Connection. There's the Yeah, AI. exactly. So my yeah. biggest intention is for every single person to feel the way that they desire. And they may not always be happy and that's okay. So why not continue to connect with those people? And if we get a sense of, you know what, you know, I want to connect, but how is this person going to receive me? Never hurts, but you, you know, don't know. And, and you know, you you may connect. I mean, you know, you and I have talked about doing something together. We talked about that in the past. And then the time was just not right. We both kind of followed different paths yeah. for a while. And then just when, you know, I this year we're all about this year I am doing A, B, C, and D. And it is more about the actual, you know, I pick a year that's essentially really demanding on me personally as well. But that's the way I am. I kind of load myself up and then I get it all done. But yeah. you came back into my life again. And it's like, well, there's the synergy. And mm -hmm. sometimes you may make a connection and it get, doesn't go anywhere right now. But don't, don't worry if it's a true connection, you know, that you will find your paths together down the road. Mm -hmm. You've seeded it. Now you just have to wait for it to grow. Focus, believe, receive. Oh, one other inspiration as well. His name is Don Saunders. He has this mm. information called the knowledge and he's, he's incredible. And there's, I get reminders from people and places and experiences all over. I mean, again, we're all connected. Yes. So focus, believe, receive what to do and not to do. Yeah. There's some really powerful experiences to be held and to be had and what we're experiencing right now. Exactly. You know, I'm always saying, please listen, please learn, but then apply because that's mm -hmm. what we're here for. And if you don't know how to apply, that's what you're here for, to help them how to apply on whatever mm -hmm. level it is, because you are doing so many levels. And of course, in the mentors, we're going to break it all down uh, of exactly everything that you do offer. And so wherever anybody's at, even if they don't know where to start, then yeah. they can reach out to you and go, okay, I know you do A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, I don't know where to start. And you do just with a conversation with them and know where they need to start and, and set themselves a go. Because sometimes... We know we need something. We know we need it from a particular person, but we don't know what. Trust the person. If you've made a connection, then have the conversation. Mm -hmm. And if that person is right for you right now, then they will know what you need right now, even if you don't. Exactly. And the right people, they'll be there and they're more than yeah. happy to answer any questions. Yeah. They may not even charge you to give you like an assessment. Right. You know, and there, there's a level for that too. Everyone's different. Everyone has their ways of doing things. Um, I've learned, you know, really connecting with somebody, understanding what their needs are, understanding like what's going on if they need it like immediately, you know, not too far away or even like long-term. It, it's great to assess and get a better idea. There, there may be other resources that are available that you may not even realize that are even out there. Exactly. And it's, it's vital. And as long as one's open and willing, like people, there's times they would say, you're really picky at restaurants. And I'm like, I don't know if I agree with that. You know, being selective and asking questions, like, I don't really go to McDonald's, but if I went right. to McDonald's and said, Hey, I want to have a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> well, the pizza place is down the street. We only have like, you know, burgers and French fries right. and stuff like that. So I don't even know why I'm using McDonald's as an example, but anyway, <laughs> long story short, you know, at the end of the day, it's perfectly okay to ask. And you never know if a person can say yes or no. Hey, you know, I, I don't really want the bun on the burgers. Anyway, I can get a lettuce wrap. You know what? Let me check with the chef. It doesn't sit on the menu, but let me check. Mm -hmm. Chef comes back. Management's like, Hey, you know what? No problem. Let's do it. First one ever. It might even go on the menu. Who knows? Right, exactly. You just the thing is, don't you assume. You don't know until you ask. And sometimes they might say no, but then you've given them food for thought. Well, maybe we should consider this. All right. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the thing is that, you know, more people ask for something, the more they're going to consider it because they see that there is a demand. We're not willing to speak up. We don't want to shout. We don't want to get angry. We don't want to get angst. What we do right. want is just to express what we desire and can you supply? But again, yep. most of the time people don't know what they want. And then if somebody can see that, can see what it is, look, I think you need, um, then it go, you know what, you're right. I didn't see it because you know, sometimes we're just too immersed in the confusion that we can't see which thread to pull first. Very much like that. And the <sighs> <sighs> there is a really good power in the and there's ah. also a lot of people in that thing. Yes. So either way, it's a choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, one of the breathing techniques I do with people is, is to breathe in uh, deep, hold it for a moment, and then release it. And because mm -hmm. in the holding it, you're just gathering all of that tension. When you're letting it out, it just lets it out. 
so much deeper extension. yeah exactly exactly and you know again that is kind of what music does to us doesn't it it takes us Absolutely. on that yeah and that's uh and that's healthy that's really yeah. good for us so please listen into the mentor show folks and just put in robert alexander or just go to mentors either here on selfdiscoverymedia.com which is soon to be selfdiscoverywisdom.com also the orchard of wisdom.org and you'll see the mentorships there click on him and everything that he actually offers you will be in there plus all the shows that he's done with us before and if you just want to know do i feel this guy just listen in and i promise you you will know so hey, hey about the ways i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> definitely about the ways <laughs> well, thank you everyone sarah you're amazing thank you for having me on and what a blessing and you know everyone thank you for listening i'm, I'm so grateful thank you so so much Bruce can't even express i mean sonically i'm expressing through voice but i mean thank you very much always my pleasure to have you on here and uh, the importance of why music is so important to us but the difference between you and other musicians i've had is that you know how to make music for people personally for their own needs rather than just making music that they can pick up on which is wonderful and they can listen to but you yeah. personalize it and that's the difference you're personalizing it and everybody wants that piece of music that's them right? i hear you right, i so, mean that's that's the intention yeah yeah, that speaks to who I am. Play the music, please. <laughs> and which, which part are we in our lives? There might be yes. many other songs that are around for our journey, too. Not yeah. just one. Right. It can be exactly. multiple. Exactly. And if you want people to know how you feel today, you could have maybe a few musical apps. Well, this one. <laughs> you know? yeah. Okay, you're sitting Sometimes in I'm just kidding. Next. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but use music as your tool. Use it as as part of you know your stage setting or realigning um you know just letting people know how you feel you know and use the music because sometimes the music is speaking words that you just can't find words for that's right what right. okay thank you alexander please go to mentors and listen to his business show as well listen to the other shows reach out to him and have a chat let the music in folks i promise you you will not regret it that music is here to set you free to help you express, to fill you up and nurture you and to be your best friend. So until next time, folks, bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. Find all of our shows on selfdiscoverymedia.com under podcasts or selfdiscoverymedia slash shows. And for all our current shows, go to What's New. We are supported by you, the audience. You will see a nice big shiny blue button for one-time donations or follow us on Patreon and you will be able to support us there. We enjoy bringing you such wisdom. And the next show will be up in just a moment.